Hi everyone. I'm here on Vlogmas Day 2 and it's looking like it's only going to let me record 16 minutes and 55 seconds because i got to delete stuff. So let's see how quick I can get this done. I do have a, note, a list this time because I want to make sure I say what I need to say to a few people. So I do have these shout outs. Uh, first thing is I see a lot of new subscribers. Welcome to everyone. And of course, thank you, thank you to all my former subscribers that keep coming back and watching me. I'm grateful for every one of you, and of course, grateful for my new subs. Um, I do want to take a second and introduce myself. My name is Cheryl, and I am a bariatric RMY patient, and also, as you can see behind me, an avid crazy crocheter. My business, I hope you can see right there, is with Yarn and Hook. And I love to crochet and I work very hard at it. And I'm going to take one second and let my dog out. Sorry, why she couldn't do this before? That's a hound dog for you. Be right back. Come on, buddy. Hurry up. Is it raining, Goobs? Nope, you're good. Okay. Molly. Okay, sorry about that. So, my channel is geared towards my weight loss surgery and my journey continuing on and, of course, my yarn obsession, crochet passion, and business. I did not make two channels. I, I did. I lied. I did. I even have an awesome and awesome with yarn and hook banner. However... I'm having a hard time remembering I got to upload before midnight to make Vlogmas on that day count. So I'm ha I'm a day late on my vlogs and I can't even imagine what it would be like doing two different channels. So I just decided to combine the two because this channel is entitled Cheryl Bolts because it's about me, my life, my family, what matters to me. So with that said... This is going to be primarily yarn related because I did post my surgery update, which is uploading now. I didn't post, it'll be posted by the time you see this though. So let me get to my shout outs and everything because I'm already two minutes, almost three down. First shout I want to make to is my friend Jane from Scraptastic Yarn Podcast. I started watching Jane, and I loved her immediately. She has a very inviting, warm personality, and I just adored the woman, and I subbed immediately. I always look forward to her uploading. I love her videos, which I do have to catch up on. I see she uploaded at least two or three I missed, so I got to get caught up here. I was focusing on my living room. I didn't even sleep for over 24 hours because I was nonstop trying to get this done, but... I had an order, and I showed that order. It was the crown, head wrap, ear warmer, and I did not like the way the points were. Neither did my customer. And Jane suggested I try a different stitch. And because it's a pay paid pattern, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get step on toes or get into trouble. But Jane suggested how to make the points the way I needed them to be, and I'll be doggone that woman was spot on. So between her suggestion and my adding a few stitches, it worked out perfect and everything was great. My client was then happy. Molly quit chasing kitty cats. So Jane, I know I've said it already, but I'm going to say it again. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being there, for helping me, for your knowledge and your guidance. And I could be more grateful. Thank you, dear heart. I appreciate it. Also, I want to shout out to my friend Christina, who did a video on the bear she had bought for her mother on our last live sale on Facebook. Uh, she also, I'm going to link the video that she did because I'm so proud of it. Chucky and I were just touched and girlfriend had us laughing through the whole video. She's a pistol. You're going to love the video. But she suggested that I start maybe doing some live YouTube sales as well. I might try that, Christina. Thank you for the idea. And uh, actually, that's another shout out I had to do. I met a new friend 
who is called Rolling Through Life. Her name is Wanda, and she actually does live sales on YouTube. So that's great that she's a crocheter as well. I think it's awesome that we're using our platform for our our persona our personal life and our businesses to merge together and bring our friends that we've met on YouTube and Facebook into those aspects of our lives. I think that's awesome. So um, Wanda does different things than I do. Some things the same. I think I heard her talk about making animals in the video. I was actually in her live chat. She's a very nice and personable lady. Hi, Wanda. And hi, Jana. And hi, Christina. I don't think I even said hi to you guys. Sorry. Hi, guys. Um, she, she's a very personable, nice lady. So if you want to check Wanda out, of course, check Christina out and absolutely check Jane out. Um, great people. I only just met Wanda, but I could say from what I see, she's a great person. Jane and Christina, I know for a while now via fa uh, YouTube. And uh, I suggest you go and visit all of them. Get to know them if you would like to. I also want to bring, talking about that, I would like to bring up my next live sale coming up. As I said, I was working on orders that I'm extremely grateful for, which I'll show as soon as I let Grace in, I'll get my bag and I'll whip out my finished and tell you what I'm working on for the last part of my last order. So <clears throat> does my voice sound scratchy? It feels a little scratchy. I don't know. I was fine. That's weird. Take a sip of Java. This is my Bah Hum mug. <laughs> I'm not the very, uh, more, most Christmassy type of individual. There we go. Sorry about the misfocus. So I'm going to announce again on my face on my YouTube when my next Facebook live is going to be. And I think I'm going to start just popping up here and there and just having a sale whenever I, the mood strikes me and I'll do like less, less items than when my husband and I do it tomorrow. I'm actually going to go to Dollar Tree and I'm going to get some baskets and cheap posty notes. I did get straight pins and, um, uh, that way I can organize our orders because my husband was just writing them down and it got to be holy chaos. So I don't want to have to do that again. So I will mention my next Facebook live for sure. And please comment if you would like to see me do a YouTube live sale as well. The only reason I haven't come on to YouTube and done it is because honestly, I don't even have 300 subscribers yet. And I'm, I wasn't sure because a lot of my followers are crochet people. Is that the word I want? People? Well, yeah, we're all people. Fellow crocheters. There we go. That sounds more ethical and professional. But I'm more than willing. I mean, heck yeah, I'll, I'll do a YouTube live as well. I was going to try and do YouTube and Facebook live at the same time, exact same time, like Kimberly does when she does her uh, bariatric pal videos. However, I was afraid I would miss comments on one or the other, and I don't want to do that, especially when you're selling only one item. I don't want to upset people. So I think unless somebody has a suggestion on how to make sure, like I guess my husband could sit with the laptop, but... I don't know. I don't want to complicate things and I don't want people upset. So if anybody has a suggestion, to me it would be easier to do two separate. You know, like do a Facebook sale at one point and do a YouTube sale at the next point. Maybe I could schedule them the same day, but one in the afternoon, one in the evening, something like that. We'll see how I'm going to do it. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to... Actually, when I'm done doing this, my YouTube bit for tonight. I'm going to go on Joann's and see if they have any red truck fabric because I'm also going to start making my pillow covers again and selling those. I make envelope pillowcases or covers, whatever you want to say, and I buy pillows like them all the time. I have fall ones. I don't like that gingerbread one. That was my husband's pick. I don't like it at all. It's too weird looking for me. I'm all about country, farmhouse, Americana and that does not fit that 
mold. This he got does. Absolutely. This fits my, my aesthetic, but that is weird looking. I'm not a fan of it. Um, and the llama cover he got me. Look at that. So cute. Oh, my lanta. But, um, I'm going to go and see if I can't find red, red truck fabric at Joann's because I want to incorporate that into my pillow covers. And I'm not going to offer my pillow covers probably till not this coming week, but maybe the following week. Because before I do another live sale, I want to make at least 10 fresh new pieces to offer. Depending on how fast I get 10 whipped out, because I do have to run tomorrow. I got to get blood work for my next surgical visit so I can make sure all my vitamin levels are on point and there's a few things I need to pick up and I'm going to hit Joann's I also want a new cutting mat and <clears throat> rotary cutter I have but I don't know where they're at I'm not even attempting that sewing room right now I gotta once I'm maybe spring hits I'll haul butt in that sewing room and clean it up because it's a holy heck of a mess. But I'm going to go shopping tomorrow for things like that. And I know I said I want to show my order and my works in progress, but it's 11 minutes and 30 seconds. I only have 16.55. I'm going to pause and get my stuff and hopefully I'll make it. Be right back. All right, I'm not going to rush through this. What I'll do is I'll delete this video. It's 95% processed once it's uploaded, and then I'll just add to this video. I'm not going to rush because I don't, I don't like to not give a proper goodbye and all that. So I'm just going to add video onto it. Okay, so first work in progress is the Malia beanie. actually like doing this. It's not done in the round. Instead, it's done... Okay, let me rephrase. It's not done horizontally. Instead, it's done vertically, as you can see. And I can't say anything because it's a paid pattern. Oh, wait. Maybe it's not. No, this might be a free pattern. I can't remember, so I'm not saying nothing. All I'm going to say is it's the Melita uh, Messy Bombini. And that's my one of my whips. But I'm not on it because I'm, wor I'm finishing up my order. Which, this is part of the order. My good friend Brenda ordered a man's hat and scarf set. So, this is the scarf. It's, I forget how long. It was 230 chains. This is the matching beanie. It is longer, but she said to fold up the brim in the pattern. So, the brim's to be folded. I mean, it looks nice, but isn't that gorgeous? It's cable stitch. And I, I will link the pattern. I don't remember off the top of my head what it is. And this one, I'm crazy, crazy. Oh, this is a finished object. The Wonderless Beanie. Isn't that gorgeous? In the same tweet I did the other. Look how beautiful that is. I just love it. So that's the Wonderless Beanie. And then because I love making that so much, this is the set for Brenda's gift for the sun. She ordered a scarf which is done in the Wonderlust, and that's the Karen Big Cakes Moon Mid Nightberry, Nightberry, and then I did the Wonderlust Beanie to match. Again, I got to tie, tie my ends in. So there's the Wonderlust Beanie. I just, I love it, and this is actually a slouchy. I added a couple rows, and that's all I have in there, and then for the, the mom slash wife, I'm doing the doll face Messy Bum Beanie, I'm to there on it. I'm like halfway. And then I'm going to do the same pattern into a scarf. So that's what I'm working on. Oh, I got a few minutes to close out. So once I finish my order, I'm going to, which will be, it'll ship out thir or Tuesday. Sorry, I'll finish it up tonight or tomorrow and then it'll ship on Tuesday. I'm going to make at least, like I said, 10 new pieces so I can go live because I like to freshen up my my offerings and is it my I'm Victoria's Secret crazy I have Victoria's Secret totes everywhere so that was my little update slash vlogmas day two and I'm going to close out there so I actually make this video I'm going to come back with the Christmas tradition tag I'm going to do 
and I'll see you in a little bit with that. I'm actually going to upload all these tonight because I want new content every day. And these were catch-up videos. So if you haven't already, please do take time to subscribe to me if you'd like to see more of my videos and more of me, my yarn, and my weight loss journey, and whatever else I throw in here. Also, please click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. And please take a moment and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and absolutely comment all right guys thank you so so much i'm watching all your vlogmases days one and two so far catching up on all the videos because again this living room was a 48 hour job i didn't even sleep it was insanity check that video out too i uploaded it earlier today all right guys i think that's all i wanted to say i hope that's all i wanted to say let me quick look at my notes fabric shopping i did say or okay yep that's it all right guys i'm gonna close here good night all i'll talk to you soon thanks so much for being here Bye bye